Title, Whispers of the Forgotten In the dimly lit town of Hollowbrook, an air of dread clung to the mist that veiled the streets. The town's history was steeped in tragedy and sorrow, a perfect breeding ground for the sinister forces that lurked beneath the surface. Wes Craven himself couldn't have concocted a more chilling tale than the one that unfolded on a moonless night in Hollowbrook. The townspeople were accustomed to the eerie whispers that floated through the wind, tales of forgotten souls and vengeful spirits. But tonight the whispers grew louder, more insistent, as if the very fabric of reality was tearing at the seams. Among those who heard the ethereal murmurs was young Sarah, a girl with raven black hair and an innate curiosity that often led her into dangerous territory. Sarah's fascination with the supernatural had drawn her to the crumbling Victorian mansion that stood at the edge of Hollowbrook. The mansion had been abandoned for decades, its walls stained with secrets that dared not be spoken. Legend had it that it was here, within the mansion's decaying walls, that a once prominent family met their gruesome demise. Undeterred by the tales of death and despair, Sarah ventured into the mansion on that fateful night. The air was thick with a heavy, unsettling stillness as she stepped over the threshold. Moonlight filtered through shattered windows, casting eerie shadows that danced along the walls like specters in a haunting ballet. As Sarah delved deeper into the mansion's heart, a chilling presence seemed to coil around her, its icy fingers brushing against her skin. She stumbled upon a grand ballroom, its once magnificent chandeliers now shrouded in cobwebs, swaying ever so slightly as if moved by some unseen hand. In the center of the ballroom, Sarah discovered an ornate mirror, its surface marred by age and neglect. Her reflection stared back at her, but something was off, her eyes were hollow, her skin pallid, and a grotesque smile seemed to stretch across her face against her will. Panic seized her as the mirror's surface rippled, and an agonizing scream echoed through the mansion, a chorus of anguished souls trapped in an eternal torment. Before her eyes, the grand ballroom transformed. It was as if time itself was unraveling, revealing the events that had stained the mansion's history. Sarah watched in horror as the tragic tale unfolded before her, a tale of jealousy, betrayal, and unspeakable cruelty. The echoes of agony and despair reverberated through the room, filling her mind with a symphony of pain. As Sarah desperately tried to break free from the mirror's grasp, a spectral figure materialized before her. It was a man, his features twisted by madness, his eyes gleaming with a malevolent light. He was the embodiment of the mansion's darkest secrets, a manifestation of the vengeful spirits that had been imprisoned within its walls. With a guttural growl, the figure lunged at Sarah, its cold fingers wrapping around her throat. She gasped for air, her heart pounding like a drum. The mansion seemed to pulse with a malefic energy, the walls closing in on her as the very fabric of reality began to unravel. In a final, desperate act, Sarah's hand found a shard of broken glass on the ballroom floor. With a surge of adrenaline, she drove the glass into the specter's form, shattering it into a million shards. The mansion trembled, its walls groaning as if releasing a pent-up scream. The mirror cracked, and the agonizing wails of the trapped souls grew deafening. And then, silence! The mansion stood still, its malevolent energy dissipated. Sarah fell to the ground, gasping for air as the weight of the ordeal pressed upon her. She had faced the very embodiment of darkness and emerged victorious, but the horror she had witnessed would forever haunt her dreams. As dawn broke over Hollowbrook, the mist lifted, revealing a town forever changed by the events of that night. The mansion, once a beacon of terror, now stood silent, its secrets laid bare. The whispers that had tormented the townspeople for generations had been silenced, but the scars they left behind would never truly fade. And so the tale of Hollowbrook would become a cautionary legend, a testament to the depths of human darkness and the enduring power of the supernatural. Wes Craven himself would have marveled at the twisted tapestry of horror and despair that had unfolded within the walls of the Forgotten Mansion,